Hi. Okay, so I wrote some software and it's not really finished. It's not really very pretty. It doesn't do everything I want it to do yet, but it works and it doesn't crash every time you use it. So I'm going to show it to you. There are two pieces of software I've written. The first is called the Tracer. It's a bit like this. You can load in a 3D object file. Um, it's not just OBJ that's supported. I've also should have some other ones supported too. Um, and that's all working. Uh, you can load in a file like this. You can see we've got these sort of fancy 3D crosshairs here. You can move those around. This blue one is a microphone. So we can put that somewhere like that. The red one is a source. Um, so you can sort of see Got a microphone and a source inside this 3D hall model. And press trace. And this is going to make a JSON file that contains ray trace data for this scene. Uh, so it's shooting rays from the microphone and seeing if they intersect with the source. Um, and it's also calculating diffuse reflections from all geometry. Um, and I'm only using a thousand rays because um, the algorithm is still really slow, not clever enough to make it faster at the moment. Um, so this at the moment looks something like this. Um, there we go. So we've got for each ray we put a direction relative to the microphone, uh, just a unit vector direction, and then we've got a time position in seconds, which is this bit and then a set of three amplitude values, which are a high, low, and mid um, sort of amplitude bands, uh, frequency bands, right this uh, So that's pretty much all there is to the actual tracing program. So if I quit that now and start up the flattener, uh, this converts this ray trace data into multi-channel audio. Um, so we're going to open it up. Okay. Um, you can add in the mood speakers. So for each speaker you can set uh, sort of elevation and rotation and you can also change the directionality of the speaker. So you can either have all the ray trace data going to one speaker or you can have bipolar so it will invert the phase for rays from the rear or you can have cardioid so you can set up an XY pattern or something. Um, but for the moment we'll just go with this, a couple of bipolar mics, um, very simple. Uh, this stuff you probably won't need to worry about. And then this is going to think for a bit. There we go. And then I can take this and drop it into, uh, I'd say, convolution. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to mute my voice for a moment and then I can play some sounds with and without this input file. E E E A R O O R U U R O M So you should be able to hear it sounds pretty convincing. I can also apply it to my own voice, I think. Maybe I'm not sure if this is working. Um, but that's yeah, that's pretty much all it does. It makes kind of nice reverb sounding things. Um, very basic, but it's taken a lot of time. And I wanted to show you. Okay, so I'm going to stop that.